What's going on everyone? Matt Wasik, CEO of Landscape Marketing Pearls, coming at you with another video. If you look in the bottom right of your screen, you'll see me. That's where I'm at here in this video. And today I wanted to discuss a Google My Business listing and some optimization tips that you're probably not doing and also answer a couple questions that we frequently get asked. The first one being, can it rank for other cities? And the answer to that is yes and no. And I'll show you some examples here of how it can and what steps need to be taken in order to make that happen. Because when you have a Google My Business listing that has presence, not only for your headquarters city with where you're based at, but also when it's working for other cities surrounding in your service area, it can produce a lot of inbound calls and a lot of website traffic as well. That can turn into people that send in their information through your contact form and there you go, you have another lead as well. And real quick, when I say traffic, essentially what that means is people online going from destination to destination. So from website to website, Google search to website, Google search to an app or Facebook to a website, whatever it might be, just people moving about. So with your business, what you want is more traffic coming to your Google My Business listing, as well as website, because that's gonna turn into more phone calls and then more contact form submissions, which are more sales opportunities and more opportunities for you to grow your company's revenue. Which by the way, if you go down below to the first link in the description, you can schedule a call with us. We'll take a look at your current online presence, see where there's room for improvement and see if it's a good fit for us to work together. And that will be the first link in the description below this video. And so at Google My Business listing, I'm gonna call it a GMB for short. It's just easier to say, is a listing on Google Maps for any business out there. And these are incredibly beneficial to a service business like yours because of the fact that they're 100% free to set up. I've done videos on the channel, just go check them out. And they can produce so much inbound calls. And I've shared this one here on the channel. This is the professional lawn landscape. This one targets the city of Champlin for lawn care, landscaping, irrigation, tree services, a whole bunch of other ones there. And I've done videos in the past regarding how much traffic it brings in. Last year alone was well over 1,200 inbound calls and contact form submissions. And if we look here through the month of March, so today's March 31st as I'm doing this video, it will take a look here. This is March 2021, just contact form submissions. This isn't even the phone calls that have come in. But you can see we have 403 is the number on this one through today, 433. So about one per day, one new lead every single day. It's still not peak season. It was cold for a lot of the month still, so landscaping still not on people's minds yet. And if we look at the actual data from the Google My Business listing, we come over here at home, activity down here at the bottom right, you can see 73 website visits just in the past 28 days and then five phone calls. So I estimate these website traffic here will probably double in April because again, April, May, peak season in Minnesota and the Northern regions, and then probably 10x the phone calls as well because that's when people really start thinking about it is what those first few nice days in the spring. And so that first step is going to be optimizing your primary category. The reason being is that when you're setting up the listing or if you have one already, for example, Lush Landscaping Irrigation, multiple six-figure company, their primary category was set to contractor and they weren't getting much traffic to their listing because nobody could find it because it's just optimized for contractor. When people are looking for landscaping, they're typing in landscaping city, landscaping near me. They're typing in the exact service, yard grading near me, for example, or irrigation company near me for another example there. So what you need to do is take an assessment for what you want your company to be doing now. And this is not, this is something that we, this, we focus on this for the somewhat long term, one, two, three year here. Look and assess what type of work do you want to be doing the most of. You want more landscape installation work. You want to do more lawn care, have recurring lawn care contracts. Do you want to do more irrigation? Some of you might be tree work. What you want to do is select the primary category to be that type of work that you want to do the most with. So most companies, it's going to be somewhat more, one, one service branch is going to generally have higher percentage of revenue come from that source versus something else. So some companies like mine, for example, was about 70% landscape installation and 30% maintenance during spring, summer, fall. So assess what you want to have your main workflow be and set that as the primary category. So that's the first thing, set up that primary category, make sure it is optimized for the work that you want to do the most of. Or if you're someone who wants 50-50, this is going to be a decision you're going to have to make and go with it. It's not going to hurt your results. The main reason we do the primary category is Google's going to see that, okay, the primary category is landscaper. We're going to get that to show up for more landscaping related terms versus a snow removal term or a lawn care term, for example. Now, number two is going to be reviews. And for most of you watching, you're probably well aware of this. Obviously, reviews are good to have because it's social proof. However, I want to explain some of, in terms of online advertising, online marketing related things, because of the fact that 
Obviously, the more reviews that you have, the better. However, having the most reviews isn't always what's going to make sure the listing ranks. It's gonna be some of these other factors. You can see here, this one, this JJ company, there's no reviews, but they're number two and they're above a company that has a five-star rating across 11 different reviews. So there are a few other factors that come into play, which we'll cover here in a second with some of the other additional factors. But the main reason reviews are so critical is of course, Google sees five-star reviews, they're going to be more inclined to rank them higher up, but social proof is key as well. So specifically, when somebody sees a good star rating, what that's going to do is increase the click-through rate of people that are going to the search and they're finding your listing and they see, okay, high rating, let's click to call or let's click to go to the website. That's the click-through rate. So the amount of people going to the search versus the amount of people that actually click on your listing, that's the click-through rate. The higher that ratio is, the higher amount of people that click through your listing, Google sees that the listing is more popular. So, okay, we need to make sure our users can continue finding this great resource, this Google My Business listing, and they're gonna keep it up higher in the search results because they see that, okay, it's got a bunch of traffic, people are liking it, people are interacting with it, they're calling the business or they're going to the website. Very, very critical. So some of the tips I suggest, and we'll probably do videos on this in the future in terms of how to get reviews, but. Most of the clients we have, their big focus is landscape installation. So outdoor living, design build, hardscapes, irrigation, all that sort of stuff. The best time to ask for a review is immediately when the project gets done. With lawn care, it's a little bit different because it's a recurring service, but for a design build project or any type of install work, when they just get done, when you, when you wrap up the project and you're collecting the payment, whether that's digital or a check, whatever it is, and they're just in love with how their backyard now looks or the front yard curb appeal, however it looks, they're just thrilled. And the best thing to do is, hey, we'd really appreciate it if you'd leave us a review. It really helps us out. So with one thing we do for our clients is we give them custom review cards with a QR code on it that can scan or the person can go to the website address that's on there. Within a couple clicks, they can be leaving a review on the Google My Business listing. And again, just creating that snowball effect, more reviews, increases click-through rate, increases social proof, increases the presence and more people seeing it. And it's just, again, like, a, like I said, a snowball where turns this system and it just fires up the fire wheel and it just keeps cranking and cranking. And before you know it, you're able to be overwhelmed with the amount of leads coming in, which is a very good problem to have. So if there's only one thing you take away from this video, that is the fact that reviews are incredibly critical to your listing, your online presence, and just your business as a whole. It's one of those things that can help start that flywheel to get it to just start taking off. So the third thing is going to be to optimize the listing. Now we just talked about categories and obviously those are very, very important, but there are other things you need to make sure you set up properly as well. So the vast majority of the time, we see the best performance from listings that have addresses displayed. Having the listing with the address just outproduces the service area one every single time. And I understand some people have run their business from their house or that's where your headquarter office is. You don't wanna have that displayed on there and it's totally understandable. You can still produce a lot of leads with service area map listings, but you can get the best results with an address. But make sure the service areas are optimized. For this listing, we target such a wide range that Google wants to have about 20 or less different areas in here. So it wouldn't be practical for us anymore to have 60 different cities here across the entire Twin Cities metro area. So I'd actually spoke with someone at Google and they recommended just doing counties for this instance, because again, it's a, it's a wide service area. But for you with your company, depending on where you're at, where you work in, you might be able to list say 10 cities that you work in and they're all connected within the service area and that will work. So of course you wanna make sure that your hours of operation are set up here. Your phone number, of course your web address, and all these orange items that you see right here, when we get into the next step here in terms of website related optimization, Google actually will do this for us. We don't have to fill out all these things. It, it pulls it out from the categories and then it sees what's on the website. Another big thing though is setting up this about the company paragraph right here. So what you wanna do is just write up a quick paragraph. It might take 10, 15 minutes and think about it. Think it through. What's your company about? Who, who are you? What is your company about? How'd you get started? That sort of stuff. And if you can include your city name in there, that can help with increasing the ranking as well. So I highly encourage that to be included. And another thing is including some additional services beyond just landscaping, trees or whatever. So if you wanna do more paper powders, you wanna do more retaining walls, outdoor living, whatever it might be, include those individual services in here. And again, Google's going to see that, okay, they do outdoor living, they build pergolas, they do waterfalls, whatever it might be, that's gonna help you stand out a little bit in the search results because Google's going to display that a little bit better. So one quick thing regarding the ability for a Google My Business listing to rank for other cities, is it possible? Yes, for nearby cities. You can see here, based in Champlain, we have presence in some of these other neighboring suburbs right around it. But let's say your company's based down here in say Bloomington and you serve 
the entire seven county metro area, you're doing just landscape design and build, you're trying to do $50,000 projects, that listing is not going to rank up here in say North Branch or Princeton or, or anything like that. If it's a long distance away, the listing is not going to rank. So that's why we build the city pages to be able to rank for some of those other cities and be able to get that traffic up there. So that's the final note on that, which leads into the number four, which is optimizing your website, specifically with individual pages for each and every service that your company offers. So if we come over here to our page for web design on our website, we have this diagram here that we built, and this is just an example, but what we do here is we build out a page for landscape, for outdoor living, snow and ice, and so forth. And that has links to each one of these other service pages. So the order of the content is all nice and structured and neat. Google really likes that. But what we do is we do an individual page for each service. Again, this might be categorized differently depending on what your company offers. But for this example, with the one we did here, this is how we did it. So sometimes you might do different separate pages for mulch, one for rock, one for edging. Sometimes we put it all together. It just depends on the location we're targeting, but usually we combine them all in one and it works just fine for our clients. But again, then one for drainage, one for sod installation, one for paver patios and walkways, another one for outdoor kitchens and bars, pergolas, and if we come over to the lawn care side, one for fertilizing and weed control, one for lawn dethatching, one for spring cleanup, one for fall cleanup, leaf removal. Because what that's going to do, for example, if we come over here to the search paver patio contractors near me, you can see a pretty high traffic search. It's probably a heck of a lot more than that. I usually take these numbers with a grain of salt because of the fact that the Champlin searches, a lot of them show zero. We definitely have a lot more than zero snow removal leads coming through our listing and the website. So paper patio contractors near me, when the website has content about paper patios on there, a specific page setup, what you're gonna see is Google is going to be going to bat for you. It's gonna crawl your website and see and then communicate to the Google My Business listing. This is key because this is something new that started happening here over the past six or eight or 12 months now that I've really been able to notice this is that for paper patio contractors near me, this is not nationwide. This is obviously my computer right here. We're focused in on this being in the Northern Metro of the Twin Cities. But you can see if we come down here to, let's see here, about towards the bottom of the first page, we're ranking for a very competitive keyword. We have our listing right here. And you can see their website mentions paper patio installers or paper patio contractors. You can see right there for this example right beneath us. But this is huge because Google is going to bat for you just because you communicated it to the website. Because again, we have a page on our Champlin website all about paver patios. We'll come over here to it. I'm down here, paver installation. And we have a page all about paver patios. So having these pages is critical to not only having search presence with the actual web page itself, but it communicates it to the Google My Business listing and helps you show up for some of these searches as well. And then the fifth thing, this is what's really going to help you boost your rankings a bit, is citations and directory profiles. So these are gonna be directory profiles, Yelp, House, Silex, N49, Yellow Pages, Porch.com. There are tons out there. For our clients, we usually build about 100 to 150 of them, depending on what they currently haven't. And the reason that these are so important is because this is just like the website popularity when it comes to the website ranking higher in the search results. You have more data points from these websites that are very high authority, very trustworthy, and they're mentioning the company and they're mentioning the website and other data like the name, address, phone number right in there. And what you absolutely must do is make sure that it is congruent, written exactly the same way. The phone number is written the same way with parentheses, the three digits, space, three digits, dash, four written all out the same exact manner on every single one of these sites because the more congruency you have, the higher likelihood you're able to rank. Those are the five steps right there to really make it happen and generate a heck of a lot more leads. The potential when you have everything optimized, which again takes time, this isn't a start today and you have leads coming in tomorrow, which you could do with ads, but you're gonna be paying for every single one of those ads that come in, which is a great strategy. But if you wanted to have something that's going to work for the long haul, with a little bit more minimal of a cost and being able to have higher amounts of leads for the same cost that you're paying, where actually the cost per lead is a bit lower, then this is the best route to go with in terms of SEO, with getting the Google My Business Listing ranking and the website. Because you can see again, like we showed, just about one per day through the month of March. You can see a little bit of slowdown in January and February. Again, this is Minnesota. There's not a whole lot of demand for landscaping. There's actually basically no demand for landscaping in that time of year. But if we look back into the fall, you can see multiple leads a day. You can see multiple leads a day and just coming in throughout the entire season. Just there was really never a slowdown, just continued to keep rolling in, kept rolling in, rolling in, rolling in. You can just see 
all of the work coming in. So it comes down to primary category, make sure the other categories are in there as well. Getting reviews, optimizing the listing, optimizing your website, having the directories like House and N49, Silac sites with your information displayed on there helps point signals to Google. And from there it takes time, but you're increasing the popularity of your online presence and that's gonna bring in more people. If you'd like to take us up on that offer to schedule a free strategy session, I encourage you to go down below, click the first link in the description and schedule it. However, this is for businesses doing at least six figures per year, or if you're someone who's right at that cusp, you have the wherewithal in your marketing budget to make it happen, then we can maybe make an exception. However, another big factor is being able to scale your operation in terms of more personnel and more equipment and be willing to want to grow your company as well. So if that sounds like you, you're doing multiple six figures a year or you're at that cusp and you are willing to make that investment, be sure to go down below, hit the first link in the description, schedule a strategy session. We can take a look at your current online presence, see where there's room for improvement and see if it's a good fit for us to work together. So with that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk with you soon.